Back in the mid-90s, I got a call from a guy who had seen one of my studio ads in the newspaper. He wasn't actually calling about booking studio time, he just wanted my opinion on what would be the best microphone for him to buy so he could record his voice in his home studio. And me wanting to be helpful, I went ahead and gave my opinion and we hung up. But a few days later, he called again and he's asking more musical stuff and there were other things he talked about I didn't quite understand. And then he invites himself over to my studio and <laughs> I, I almost said no because he just seemed so strange and weird but there was just something about him I thought what the hell and he shows up and he's not what I expected because I thought he's gonna be a singer-songwriter because he was asking about a microphone turns out he's an air conditioner repairman who also happens to make hip-hop beats not that I had any idea what a beat was and I barely knew what hip-hop was and when we walk inside he's immediately like oh you could make a million dollars in here. But first, you should paint these walls purple and put a Chinese lamp over here and put a more comfortable couch right here. Have you ever worked on rap music? It's about to blow up. It's gonna be huge. And I'm just thinking, who is this guy? Who does he think he is? What is he even talking about? I mean, at that time, pretty much everybody I was recording in the studio was either a local rock band or a singer-songwriter. And me, I was the guy who played mandolin and sang strange songs about spirits and angels. But there was something about this guy and his confidence and insistence that I should be working on rap music and that he knew these guys named Little John and Bone Crusher and that I should be doing a compilation album with them and other local Atlanta rappers that had other kind of interesting names and I just remember thinking well they seem like interesting fellows and they were and it was life-changing because it brought in Little John, Bone Crusher, his group The Lyrical Giants, and a lot of other rappers, DJs, and producers who later on ended up being key players in the Atlanta rap and hip-hop scene, and many are still good friends to this day. And this is the album we made. I never really made any money from this thing, but I'll tell you what, everybody in Atlanta heard this and said, who's this guy Billy Hume? 